Is right. it true that 30, I think it's 36% of millennials view communism as something favorable? Yeah, they're not, they're not taught history at all. They're not taught, you know what they're taught? In Australia in particular, the, the, the teachers indoctrinate my children when they were younger and they were going to public school. Now they're in Christian school. Mm -hmm. But in public school, they would make fun, they would make fun of Donald Trump dying. Oh. They, would, they wanted oh. him dead. And they would joke about it in class. They why would, would make fun of... Why would your country do that? that why? Because it's a spiritual war. Yeah. This is not a natural war. This, yeah. is, th this administration wow. or the last administration, what's happening now, is entirely spiritual. You cannot explain. You, 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 you feel like you're banging your head against the right. wall if you try to explain this rationally, logically. It doesn't make any sense. No. So they make fun of God in the schools. And they do it to indoctrinate the kids. Right. And they'll say something like this, that the, the biggest cause of, of uh, war uh, is religion is the cause of all wars. Wow. You know, mm -hmm. so God doesn't answer your prayer Thank and you. people who follow God are the ones that cause war. Well, that's absolutely a historical lie. That's right. Right. In the past, not even 100 years, from 1900 to about 1987, the communists, the communists killed their own people. This is called democide. Killing by your own government. There's no foreign invasion, no war. The democide of communist regimes exceeded 110 million people in less than 100 years. You can put all the deaths of all the religious conflicts in the history of humanity together, and we've never killed, no religion has killed 110 million people in the past 5,000 years of recorded history. So it's wow. an absolute lie. Yeah. We're not teaching kids the truth. We're, we, we abdicated our right in the school because we keep doing this. We keep saying that the gospel is just for the church. Don't get involved in education. Mm -hmm. Don't get involved in politics. Don't get involved in entertainment. We've removed ourselves. We did, the devil didn't even need to push us out. We removed ourselves. And then when we try to come back in, yeah. people fight us on this. Yeah. People have a you know, very strong opinion that we are not to be salt and light in our culture. And I just can't understand that because no. the Hebrews don't have this Greek mindset of separating, you know, the, the, the holy, the sacred from the secular, mm -hmm. you know, God from, from my work. Right. Uh, the, the children belong to the secular state, but we on once a week go to the church. It, it doesn't make sense, not in the Bible, not in the Hebrew uh, historical context. Yeah, so they're, re they're really brainwashing our kids. Oh, completely. But there's a lot of work to do. I mean, if, if we want to reclaim this, one of the things is we need parents to be back yeah. doing yes. what they're supposed to do. That's and it. a lot of parents will say... Yeah.